Hey guys, I'm here today for my postpartum must-haves video. Now I am quite the ways away, four months out from my postpartum period, and I did quite a bit of research and video watching and Pinteresting, figuring out what I needed to have for after the birth. But uh, these are all of the things that I found most helpful in my recovery postpartum. Number one, I think, would be Depends. Now this was recommended to me by a friend. They do in the hospital and other places give you these mesh underwear and like puppy pads and big thick pads, which I did use while in the hospital and they send you home with some, but I found wearing Depends just made me feel a lot more human. They're a little more foolproof, you know, they can't really leak. Um, you may be having some incontinence issues like I had and maybe leaking a little bit. So you might need the Depends for a little extra protection and they really don't feel as bulky as the pads with the puppy pad and all that stuff do. Like you can wear the Depends and then a pair of pants and not feel like you're wearing a huge disgusting pad. And they're really not expensive, I use the Target brand. Another thing I don't have but was very helpful was A, a sits bath, um, which they gave me at the hospital, take that thing home, and B, Epsom salt. I took baths and I did sits baths with the Epsom salt to promote healing down there, and it really, really did help. Okay, now on the topic of your bottom, you'll also need pads. So I bought one pack of Depends, which got me through kind of the heavier bleeding period, and then I bought these Kotex things. Um, these are ultra thin pads, but they're the overnight, so they had, were a little longer, more coverage, and higher absorbency. And then, I didn't even finish this whole pack. I would say the Depends lasted a week, I wore these for five days, and then I switched to these always ultra thin little panty liners and wore these, and I obviously didn't go through the whole pack of either of these. I was done bleeding at about two weeks and no longer needed to wear anything. Everybody's different, but it was nice to have these on hand and not to have to go to the store once I needed them. Okay, now if we're still on the topic of your bottom, <laughs> you need a lot of stuff for there. Even if I had a very, very minor tearing uh, and I still needed this stuff. So they gave me this at the hospital and I used it the first few days. It was great. Dermaplast pain reliever. Just spray it down there after you go to the bathroom and it really did help with the pain and discomfort and mainly itching that was happening. Then I transitioned to this. This is a more natural option. Once things were getting a little better, back to normal, less itchy and painful, I used this. Earth Mama Angel Baby Bottom Spray. It's basically a witch hazel spray and it's very just refreshing. Like you feel pretty disgusting and this really just made me feel better. I think you can get this on their website. I got mine on Amazon. They used to sell it at Babies R Us. Now it's no longer an option. And then what you really need are these things. So they give you one at the hospital, at least they did at mine, and I bought a three pack on Amazon so I could have one in each bathroom. And that was definitely helpful. They don't want you using toilet paper to wipe in the beginning. I guess unless you do a number two, but just to let things promoting healing, you put warm water in this and spritz it and then you pat dry. So another thing I would recommend is nicer toilet paper. This would be the time in your life to splurge on your toilet paper. Now after you have your baby and your skin is starting to stretch back to normal, I would suggest you keep buttering up that belly because as your skin is contracting back to its normal state, you're going to want it to stay moisturized. I use this, it's the Beauty Counter Citrus Rosemary Body Oil. I can link it down below. Um, it's a little pricey, but this got me through probably the last three months of my pregnancy up until now, and obviously I need to order a new one, but this was awesome. It smells really good and it really keeps that area moisturized, but you're gonna wanna keep your stomach moisturized as it's contracting so your skin can go back and you are gonna have some itching when it is going back. So this really did help me. One of the most important was my Yeti. Water bottle, whatever, whatever you really want, but having a big cup full of water at all times. I like lemon water, but really whatever you want, you are going to be 
so thirsty, whether you're breastfeeding or not, because your body is healing and you need to keep it hydrated. I also drank a lot of Gatorade in the beginning after having her to just kind of replenish everything. And boy, did that help because you are so, so, so thirsty when your body is first starting to make milk. And these last few things are kind of just tips. When I was about 39 weeks, I went to Trader Joe's and I got a whole bunch of freezer meals, a whole bunch of snack food, just a bunch of easy things that we could eat, snack on. I was so hungry when I started breastfeeding. So just easy things you can get your hands on. I don't know if you have family nearby, friends, maybe talk with them, especially when they're asking if there's anything you need. Ask them to bring you over some dinner. You know, that might be more helpful than that onesie they were gonna buy you. Um, they could just bring you a dinner, bring you a freezer meal, bring you pizza, bring you a sandwich, you know, anything. Something like that will really, really help you. Or if you're more of a cook, I'm not so much of a cook, but if you can prepare some meals to put in the freezer for when everything goes down, you will be so, so happy that you did. We had several friends, they would bring a meal for us to eat then, and then they brought a meal for us to put in the freezer so that we would have something later because they're all aware of it. I don't cook very well. And it was a godsend because when you're hungry, you don't have 30 minutes or an hour when you're newly postpartum to cook a meal. And if your husband or wife or whoever is already back at work and you don't have friends and family to help you cook, just feeding and fueling your body in a proper healthy way during this time is like, it's more important than any of these products. So figure something out for that. And then last, some memory space on your phone. You have no idea how many pictures you're going to take of this child. Every little thing they do. I downloaded Google Photo and paid the $20 for the year of, I think, 100 megabytes, 100 something, a big amount of space. And I needed it because I take like 30 pictures a day of this child and I want to keep them all and it never gets old. So free up some space on that phone. You'll be glad you did. And that's it for my postpartum must-haves. If you have any questions about anything, leave it down below. I'll definitely be doing a breastfeeding must-haves video. And I am really close to 200 subscribers, which is super, super exciting. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I reach 200 subscribers. I'm going to be thinking about that and getting that together. So I'm very excited for 200 subscribers hopefully coming up soon. And I will let y'all know about that giveaway once I get to 200. All right, y'all have a great week and I will see you on my next video. Bye.